today's class, we're gonna get you in front of a Cisco command line interface so that you can configure Cisco networks from your own home today. I'll show you how to download Cisco's virtual network software and how to run your first iOS commands. The software is completely free and it runs on Mac, PC, and Ubuntu operating systems. Our first stop is Cisco's Networking Academy website. This is where we'll download Packet Tracer, which is Cisco's virtual networking software. Cisco offers both free and paid education programs on this website if you guys are interested. In order to download Packet Tracer, you'll need to create a Networking Academy account. Doing this is free and it's easy, so let's go ahead and do that now. Be sure to write down your login information. We're gonna be using it again a little bit later. Once you're logged in, go to Courses in the web page menu. Then select Packet Tracer, and then click on View Course. This will take you to Cisco's Skills for All website. On this page, you'll sign in with Cisco's Networking Academy account. So that stuff that you wrote down earlier, you'll use that here. Then click Get Started. Scroll down and you'll see the link to download Cisco's Packet Tracer. Go ahead and download and install it. Installation's pretty straightforward. Okay, so now we can open Packet Tracer. Sign in with your Networking Academy account. All right, awesome, we're in Packet Tracer. At the bottom left of your screen, you'll see all the virtual devices. Let's select Network Devices. Then we'll click on Switches. This will display our available switches. Let's grab a 2960 and drop it into our virtual network. You can zoom in using the Magnify Plus icon. Clicking on the switch will open its settings window. You'll see some cool stuff here. What we'll do is click on the CLI tab at the top of the window. You're now at Cisco's iOS command line interface. If the CLI text is a little too small, we can go to the Packet Tracer Preferences. Click on the Font tab, and next to CLI, change the font from eight to something a little higher. Then click Apply. Close and reopen the switch window. That should get things a little bit easier to read. You'll see the text press return to get started. The CLI will then display the host name, which in this case is switch with a greater than symbol next to it. This is the name of our switch at the moment. Let's enter our first command. We'll type show clock. This will display our switch's current clock information. That's it. That's as simple as that. Our first CLI command has been completed. Congratulations. Obviously there are all kinds of commands we can use in Cisco's iOS. And we'll take a look at some important ones in the next class. See you guys there.